Hello. Uh, this is a demonstration here for a vehicle that I've produced with the uh, Unreal 3 engine. Uh, let me show you it real quick. Right, here it is. I got it set up to work with the UDK remote. So we have um, rise and lower, strafe right and left, back and forward. And as you can see, the uh, animations are connected through the anim tree and the scripts. Also a button in the upper left corner to raise and lower the gear. And double tap the screen to shoot some rockets. Uh, if you slide your mount finger around on the screen, it'll uh, change your view. Uh, view pitch. And it's a uh, look based steering, so wherever you're looking. Let's see here, let me pull up the anim tree. These right here control the rotor uh, spinning animations. Uh, this one up here controls the gimbal uh, forward backward movement of the uh, props and uh, those can down there control the um, rudder and uh, ailerons. Uh, this up here controls the gear animation. All right, here are the scripts for this. Uh, the vehicle factory here um, makes it to where you have the selection for the vehicle in the actor classes drop down menu. You can just drag and drop it into the game. Uh, the verticopter or vehicle content package or uh, class uh, extends the vehicle class, which extends the UT Air vehicle. Uh, mine are, of course, named uh, after the, what the vehicle is. Uh, using the vehicle sim chopper here uh, for the physics and for the content here, uh, this just hooks the skeletal mesh with uh, the S vehicle mesh, uh, set, setting that up. The gunner uh, the gun the rocket controls are set up there uh, up here is the uh, toggle for the gear on the control setup for the button so if the gears down it'll uh, use the gear up command and vice versa open up kismet here this up here will uh, automatically start you out in the vehicle when you start the game uh, there's six different control settings uh, three for the iPad three for the iPhone so once I get a, a user interface going on, they'll be able to select their control settings, and it should choose whichever one. See here, down down here, this will this will of course create the gear button, and this one deletes the default controls. I've created this vehicle uh, in Maya, uh, textured it, uh, rigged it up, uh, set up the UVs, uh, modeled it, made it efficient for uh, low poly kind of game. Um, it's the uh, the verticopter from Garrow Aircraft. Um, I thought it looked cool, so I figured, you know, this would be a neat little vehicle uh, attempting to make an iPhone app. Uh, you know, I just need to do the environment and actually get some gameplay value going on. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching.